Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I think I'm doing my last, I know I said this last time, but my last and final mug out of this um, discovery set of Pebo paint. Now, this set I got on, um, on Amazon, it was like $16.50 or something US dollars plus postage to New Zealand so I think it came out at about 20 US dollars for six 20 mil bottles so 20 mils is two-thirds of an ounce fluid ounce that helps anyone <laughs> now I had dregs left in each of the bottles and so we had yellow green red blue, white, and black in the set. And I have drained all these five colours into the one bottle. <laughs> and we've actually got about half a bottle, which is 10 mil. And then the black, uh, can you see that? Yep, we've got a few mil on there as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smear the black on starting at the bottom and it moving up until I've got as much of it covered as I can and then I'm going to turn it back upside down and pour what's in here which I have no idea really don't know what it looks like in there it's uh it looks pretty dark but then on the sides we've got yellow Ooh, where are you there so I don't know what's going on in there really don't know what's going on there um, no idea what it's going to end up like so the one thing I do want to do though is put some silicon um, into that I'm not really sure how to do that I think what I might do is just put a drop of silicon onto this and um, just I'm just gonna let that sit oops you can't see because I put the lid down in front of you so I'm just gonna sit let that sit in there and uh, do what it's gonna do we'll get some silicon in last cup we had no silicon so uh, it came out cool. Did you watch the video? <laughs> I've actually set up a playlist of all the mugs that I've done with this as well as the jewellery that I created with the runoff. That was cool. I like that stuff. That was very cool. So I'm going to start by doing the top. This is an old mug from in my kitchen. It's, um, you see the fadedness about it? um it's yeah let's just perk it up it's it's like totally sound it's got no chips in it but it's looking very weathered from many many years of dishwasher usage um so that's what i'm doing so let's get this black underway No silicon in the black, just so the reason I'm doing the black is kind of a bit like in acrylic pouring we do a negative space and it helps the paint to to run, to move, to to spread. So that's what I'm doing with the black here, is just giving it a bit of colour, a bit of something to start the process. This black does actually seem to um, what's the word? Translucentize, <laughs> if that's such a word. So, 
um, it's not going to be a great cover as such to cover the red but I do like the red so if there's some glowing red that shows through then awesome um, So just giving it a bit of a pull up from the bottom. These handles kind of stand out off the off the cup quite nicely, so And for those of you that have read that it's not food safe, it has been tested as food safe. It's not FDA approved, but it is food safe. It's non-toxic. Well, okay. They recommend not putting it where the food is going to be so that if it gets dented and knocked about by the um, utensils that you use, then it's not going to get damaged but if you do accidentally ingest some of this it is not actually toxic it's got no toxic materials in it so <clears throat> please before you abuse me in the comments like i've had people do in the past on my videos with these mugs please check your facts please um, you know, if you're going to tell me I'm wrong, please give me research. I'm really happy to look at whatever data you find online um, or scientific papers to prove me otherwise. But please don't tell me I'm a liar and I'm wrong if you haven't done your research. That really just is unkind, uncaring and rude. That's my interesting point of view. Alright, so that's pretty much covered. And now I'm going to turn it up that way. So you can still see the red through it. It's got some, it's got finger marks. But that's good. That's just the start. It's not the end, don't worry. It's not the end. And for all of you that enjoy me being me, I am so super, super grateful. I've had another interesting being abuse me for being happy and singing <laughs> in a comment the other day. Oh, do you know what? It always makes me laugh how... People choose to make wrong what they ch are not choosing themselves. If you're not choosing to be happy, just don't hang out with people that are happy because it'll piss you off. Don't make them wrong for it. That's all I'm saying. Don't make me wrong for being happy and singing. This person told me to stop singing, stop um, stop joking, and stop, and they don't want tutorials. I was just to pour. I was like, go find another channel, honey, because that's what this channel's for. Me having fun and sharing that with you guys. So I'm literally just pouring out what is in this pot. Which, as I said, is all the leftovers. Is it looking cool? I can't actually see. Because I'm focused on not getting it off the lip. I hope it looks cool. I'm intrigued to see what we get.
get a spillage. I'm going to stop at that point then. Wow, that's very yellow. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Just gonna pull that down so it fills up around the handle. That's super cool. But it's interesting that yellow is blending away and turning green. <laughs> Oh, that's so pretty. Even leftovers can be pretty. Mm. See if I can get this bit a little bit more black because that's showing quite a bit of green, red in there. And there's not a lot going to be running down those bits. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> it looks odd with a red handle, though. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see what we can still get out of here. Because I'm going to cover that handle because it looks silly. Interesting point of view. I had that point of view. All right, it's just um, just putting my stick in and scraping the sides, trying to get as much of the paint out as I can. I'm going to be able to pick some up off the round as well if I need to me that's stunning oh I've got my cabochons ready let me see if I can show you can you see the drip off that's cool all right let's focus on the cup first though Michelle come on um What's going to be the best method of doing this, do you reckon? Guiding it as it runs, preferably. I go quiet when I'm concentrating, guys. Sorry. Okay. 
Definitely don't want that red. This is definitely not a red cup. haven't painted the handles on my other cups so this is a bit fiddlier than normal If you're looking at it and you can see that it's kind of got a lump here the original handle does actually have a, a lump there so I'm pretty sure that's almost all I'm gonna get out of the cup of the pot. No 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 don't you go running down the easy path. Come on. What about black? Can we get some more black out of there? Yes. Yay. Oh, there's heaps of black if I dig in it. Just going to turn it around so you guys can see how it's going over our house. Oh, we've got a cell without even torching it. I totally forgot the torch. Let's torch. Let's torch. And get the torch to go. It's kind of a bluey, purpley haze in this top area. It's very cool. Going back to my handle. Got to try and make sure I only pick up stuff that's kind of similar because it's quite a grey green on the handle rather than the bright yellow
Now, I'm pretty sure I have all the red covered. All right, I think we're good to go. I think. <laughs> Thinking, stinking. So, <clears throat> let me get a bit closer so you can have a... See, the red shows up through the silicon anyway. That's the thing you do need to be aware of, guys, with whatever you are choosing to pour on. Um... The silicon does seem to go all the way through to the original paint. And I've noticed that on the ones that have got the grey underneath. Um, the come on, here we go. The cells all kind of have a grey hue to them, whereas this one's got the red hue to them, which is quite funky. Not fast with the handle. The handle could be better. I'm actually now looking at how much drip off there is and there's not that much drip off whereas in past ones I've had like heaps so I'm actually wondering whether I'd be better off picking up that green and dribbling it over the over the handle I'm going to have a play guys I might edit some of this out but I'm going to have a play and see what I can create. Especially now that there's um, a layer of green, uh, of paint on the handle and it can use that layer of paint to run along and just picking up There we go. It's going to cover up some of that greyness. I hope you're not getting dizzy watching this going round and round like this. So what do you reckon? Look at this purple, like, blue kind of, that's funky. 
So you remember on this mug we have all six colours. We have white, yellow, green, red, blue and black. Um, and I do need to get just one. I'm not sure how to do this though. I might have to. Um, there's my blue tack. So if you didn't watch my video last time, the one with the pendants, what I did was I put a piece of blue tack onto a capuchon. Made sure the bottom, the bottom part of the cabochon was clean. Can't pick it up by the handle this time. And then I laid it onto the dripped paint, which captured the pattern. And then I set that to dry. Come on. Because I, I tried putting leftover of this paint into a pendant tray and leaving it to dry. But it cracks up something chronically. Um, let me see if I can find one to show you. Well, this one hasn't cracked. Where's the camera? There. Isn't cracked, but see those little baubly kind of looks to it. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure why it does that, but it does. A little bit of resin over top, it'll be totally fine. And I'd rather not have to resin. So. I found that doing them well, the way I just did captures the paint the way it's laying or it's dripped and you get some really funky funky looks and of course if you bake it because you can bake glass it's then going to be nicely set. Look at that one. And you can do all sorts with it. So I'm going to let this one nicely set. Um... My question. There's not really so much pretty left in there now. I'm not going to do any more of that. And I'm happy that the, the handle now ties in a bit better colour wise. And I'm going to leave it to dry. And we'll be back tomorrow. So you guys can see how it's dried. So in your time, that will be in three, two, one. Right, here it is. Um, <clears throat> you can see some of the red poking through from the cup and I really love it that goes really well with these colors so just be aware of what color cup you put underneath 
it has come out so cool for the leftover dregs in the bottom of the bottles I'm really really pleased now somebody asked me on a previous video why I don't oops fingers in the way sorry um, why I don't pour it that way and let me show you the rim of the bottom comes out rather jaggedy you've got drips and bits so even though I was grabbing the little bits that were at the bottom <clears throat> it's still pretty ugly under there so imagine what that would be like on your lips so I pour it from the top and get a uh, reasonably smooth top on it and just let it run down I love it I love it a lot super super grateful that I've got had these paints to play with um, if you want to give these a go grab them off Amazon using the link in the description and um, how much fun can you have so now I'm going to take this inside and bake it as per the instructions which is um, you put it into a cold oven, heat it up to 150 degrees Celsius, which is 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, bake it for 35 minutes and then allow it to cool back down again. So I do find I need to have the extractor fan on when I'm doing that. It does give off a bit of a smell. If you've got a craft oven, you might want to do it in that. I don't have a craft oven so so I'm going to enjoy using this mug what fun can you have that contributes to your life on a daily basis how much fun can we invite the rest of the world to and um, what if contributing to the rest of the world created your life with more ease joy and glory just saying I adore you all and um, what magic can we all be? See you soon. Bye.